divine. Good color, too. And so you have a selection of plants. I had them unloaded into a little cart, intending to have them conveyed here, but there seems to be no one about. I wish to be alone. I have them sent away. If you wish to be alone, I, I could come back. No, no, no. I find you are the very company I need today. Nothing would suit me better than for me, the king's gardener, to take some advice on perennials. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. There's an adage in cinema that when it comes to actors, what they really want to do is to direct. Now the reason for this is that cinema is primarily a director's medium. Unlike theatre, where actors are really in control of their performance, when it comes to cinema, it's often been said that directing is where the power lies. So you get a lot of actors that end up directing films when they get the chance. Take, for example, UK cinemas at the moment, there's a new film called Little Chaos, and Kate Winslet stars as a landscape architect who gets a commission to do some work in Versailles, and she brings a little chaos to those gardens. That's the sort of premise. Well, the film's got very good performances. It's directed by Alan Rickman, who is, of course, best known as an actor. Now, Rickman has directed before. He directed a feature film starring Emma Thompson, and he's done a lot of directing in theatre. But there's been a lot of interest in, in the fact that this is a film directed by Alan Rickman, an actor, who's now directing. So a lot of people said, well, of course, he's got terrific performances because people have come up through acting, understand, you know, how to talk to other actors. But more importantly, if you're an actor, you end up working with lots of directors and seeing how they work and learning from them. Look at the UK top ten at the moment, for example. There's a film directed by Russell Crowe, The Water Diviner. And Russell Crowe said, well, you know, I had the perfect film school. I was making these films with directors like, you know, Ridley Scott. Every day I was on set watching how they worked. So I obviously wanted to, to take control and take the reins of power. Also, still in the UK top ten, Cinderella, directed by Ken Branner. Now, Branner has directed and acted throughout his career. But it's interesting that what people like about the way he works is, well, as an actor, he's somebody who really understands directing. And actors turned directors have had a pretty good run at the Oscars. I mean, think of Best Picture winners, like, for example, Unforgiven, Million Dollar Baby, both directed by Clint Eastwood, obviously rose to fame as an actor, probably best known around the world as an actor, and yet the accolades when it comes to awards are for his directing. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck has two Oscars to his name. One of them is for writing Good Will Hunting, which he co-wrote. The other is for helming Argo, which went on to be the best picture winner. Other examples of actors turned directors in cinema, of course, include Charles Lawton, who helmed Night of the Hunter, an absolutely wonderful film. I was thinking of Sarah Polly recently, who perhaps is more prominent now as a director than an actor. Angelina Jolie, looks like her career has actually moved into that of being a director. And all this got me thinking, about Mel Gibson. See, the funny thing about Mel Gibson, huge, great big A-list star, made Mad Max, made the Mad Max movies, then became one of those people like Tom Cruise, who was you know, guaranteed to be able to open a movie, a proper A-list international star. But when it came to Oscars, what he won for was for directing. He won the Oscar for directing Braveheart, which was a Best Picture winner. He directed The Passion of the Christ, which became the biggest selling film not in the English language ever released. He then went on to Helm Apocalypto, which I think is a really good, if really insane, action movie. Now, I know that Mel Gibson is a very controversial figure, and for very good reasons. He's said some incredibly foolish things over the years, but when he got up on stage to get his Oscar for directing Braveheart, he said one of the funniest things anyone's ever said on the Oscar stage. He got up there, he won the award for Best Director, he grabbed hold of the statuette and he said, of course what I really want to do is act. <laughs>